think, Logan? Why, yes. Day 182 of the zombie apocalypse is quite a downer. Indeed it is, my Econ 1500 friend. What are the odds of someone even having a radio out there listening to us? I'm tired. Oh, yes, me too. If anyone is out there listening to us, stay alive. Do whatever you have to do, but stay alive. Yeah, stay alive. Mark, come on in before the flesh eaters find us. So what's your pleasure, ammo or guns? I'm looking for ammo. No she have shotgun shells. Yeah, now that the government's gone defunct and there's no price ceiling, I'm willing to sell my personal stock. Why is it that after Z Day, some ammo is cheaper while others is more expensive? Let's go to the zombie field where I can show you why. Let's start with a small 22 caliber. It's not effective, but there's a lot of them, so the quantity supplied is great, but the quantity demand is low. That is why the price for the 22s has dropped after Z Day. Next is the common SKS and AK 47 ammo. The supply is also high. The demand is higher for this ammo compared to the 22 ammo, so the price has stayed the same. Then we come to the 308, popular round for sniping the flesh eaters. This round has the same demand as the 7.62x39, but the supply is lower, so the price has gone up more than the SKS ammo in this post Z Day economy. Holy whippersnapper, if it ain't that Econ 1500 zombie. I got the perfect thing for that. I've got my uh, homemade explosive tip 308. Let's get him with that. What's my score now? 